What is going on guys? So is this the new defending strat on River Psalm? What you're looking at here is a compilation of two games I had defending on River Psalm where one game I got 14 armored car kills and another game I got 17. This is all done of course in the armored car where I'm just purely running over enemy players. I've been trying to figure out a good strat for the defending side on River Psalm trying to hold off the enemy team at that very beginning part of the wheat field when they're pushing out. I know the only real solid way to getting out there consistently in my viewpoint is getting on the motorbike that's right by the farmhouse and pushing your way out of the wheat fields. However though defending wise has been quite interesting and nothing I've been doing really has been working lately. I've jumped on the motorbike tried throwing some smoke around but really i'm out in the wheat fields i'm basically a sitting duck i knew the motorbike had something to do uh with what i would want to do here on the fending side but i kind of put two and two together just recently and i run i run over three of them right there and kind of figured that if i actually just get the armored vehicle that is near our spawn by e at the very beginning of the game and push my way all the way over I can start coming over here and just basically picking off enemy players by running them over. Now you do have instances like this where you are getting shot from you know the tanks that are there, there are anti-tank rocket guns, grenades, all sorts of little things that can do um, some pretty sufficient damage on your armored vehicle but for the most part the armored vehicle holds up pretty well mainly because of its speed and agility to move in the wheat fields. And really, especially at the very beginning part of the game, when the tanks have to deal with your teammates' anti-tank rocket guns and all of the fire that's going on from your teammates defending that A part, really the last thing people are thinking is an armored vehicle flying through the wheat fields to run them over. And the moment they get distracted by that, you're just leaving um, them unaware of your own teammates to pick them off. So. I've been finding this actually being a quite interesting strat. Now what I am doing to try to prolong my life is I am using the support class. I do have the repair tool in hand with smoke and I have a ammo crate so I can keep laying smoke over and over again giving myself cover to repair my vehicle until I can get myself back on the battlefield. It only takes two anti-take rocket guns to take this out. You know, the tank hunter uh, gun on the land ships as well as the cannons on the side of the ship will do some pretty solid damage to this vehicle as well. So you definitely don't want to go out on the wheat fields when you're weak. And I am jumping out when I need to and picking off a new players that might be around. So that's been kind of the strat that I've been developing right now. Trying to find some type of solution to defend better than what I've been doing before, which is kind of rolling around with the motorbike dying a couple times and then once the three minute two second marks comes up I go up and pick up the Villa Perosa and start holding down their push up from a where the river is at so that was kind of something I've been trying to work on see if I can polish up the very beginning part of the game and for the most part I feel like at the beginning part I'm really improving so is this the new strat for defending side on River Somme Unfortunately, I don't think so. It's surprising, right? After all this big kind of hype of what I've been doing. Um, and that's mainly because of one um, disappointing factor. And that is the moment you are in your vehicle driving around. And if you want to jump out of that vehicle and begin to repair yourself, there's a very, very high chance that your teammates who are in the vehicle are going to end up jumping over into the driver's side and driving away with this. So, uh, tanker... Um, classes have experienced this before you might be a tanker class and being shot by enemy players maybe by a sniper class where every time you try to repair he shoots a K bullet at you which causes your uh, repair to stop and you kind of have to go through this phase where every time you try to repair he keeps halting it um, from happening so you have to jump out of your vehicle start to repair yourself but the moment you do that you have a teammate unknowingly jump into the driver's seat thinking that the tank has been abandoned when it actually isn't and he'll drive away with it. So the same situation is happening to me 
with this armored car and it's a little bit disappointing as I was feeling pretty confident that this would be a really awesome strat as you see me again picking off enemy players who are completely unaware especially the ones where you're flanking on the side they have absolutely no clue where you're coming from you can even go a little bit out of bounds and you know you have enough time and speed uh, to get back in play so it was looking promising but the more I was doing well using the armored vehicle the more my teammates would want to spawn into it which then was causing issues where whenever I would take damage and I would try to repair myself they would end up driving away with my car so knowingly or unknowingly off of their attention what they were doing was really prohibiting my gameplay from really maximizing what I could do and until DICE makes a fix for the drivers of the vehicles to have some type of lock for them so they can protect their vehicle if they jump out just for a brief moment if they want to repair themselves this strat really isn't going to take off now I do think it is a solid strat for the very beginning part of the game where the first three minutes you can really uh, do some damage trying to hold off the enemy team get some distracted and really what you need to do on these conquest assault modes you really just need to hold off the enemy team for those first 300 points to catch yourself back up from starting off behind with 300 points to get yourself back into the game and once you do that and if you have majority of the flags you're gonna be looking in good shape now another thing I was having a hard time with not only with my teammates getting my vehicle and driving off with it which is what you're about to see right here but as well having teammates stay in my vehicle is also pretty problematic considering that staying put on this vehicle is basically a death trap and what makes the armored vehicle its strength is its mobility and taking advantage of that is key to staying alive so you consistently have to be moving around trying to dodge whatever fire from the enemy team it's going to happen onto you and if you stay put at all you're pretty much in trouble now that doesn't do you too well when you're trying to cap a territory so that's another reason why unfortunately as much as I want this strat to take off there's really no way this is gonna happen so um, again a bit unfortunate as in that uh, round right there I was actually going 15 and 0 until I got my vehicle taken away and it consistently began to happen more and more frequently as I was beginning to figure out how to use this vehicle properly now that was a real quick look at the pass I've been taking out from E if you want to do this very early on the game and get the quickest way over there where the wheat field's at because really unless you get to the wheat field very early on in the game and hopefully hold them there using this vehicle isn't going to be all too great of a strat for too long especially when they get out of the wheat field start getting around the trenches you're not really doing yourself all too much damage with this vehicle as it's just really difficult um, to really drive this vehicle anywhere else than the wheat fields. So I would say it's still safe to say that the Villaparosa strat is still a pretty solid strat on this map. It does spawn in again at the 3 minute 2 second mark and what I would recommend probably what I'll be doing as well is pushing at the very start of the game getting myself over in the wheat fields for the first 3 minutes to do as much damage as I can and then from there pushing out of the wheat fields in the armored vehicle going over picking up the Villa Perosa and then probably going around the trenches right up there between the river and A and holding off the enemy players from pushing up so still a very solid strat I still have a lot of success using the Villa Perosa defending through these trenches on this map but it's mainly those first three minutes on the game where I've been kind of in no man's land trying to figure out a more consistent way to help my teammates out but feel free to let me know your guys thoughts down below on this strat have you been trying this out it is an interesting thing uh, to use on the battlefield and it kind of has me torn because as much as I really want to use it and I've seen some success it is kind of hard dealing with randoms on the game and no matter how you communicate to people if you try to message them or communicate to them the voice chat or whatever there's going to still be plenty of instances where it's just not going to work. So, unfortunately, until DICE gives some type of driver lock feature in some way to help prevent these things from happening, it won't be as consistent as I would like it to be. But um, that's basically it for you guys today, though. Again, I appreciate you guys being here. 
I am living, and I will catch you guys again later. Peace.